ready. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more prison break. We are here with season five. Imagine that, huh? Imagine that season five prison break. We're here. Anyways, um, final season of the show. Last week, I decided not to start season five last week um, and just do the final break, which is a very, very good experience showing us what happened during the time skip that happened between them getting exonerated and at the end where we had a reunion at Michael's grave. And that was very entertaining, man. Watch that movie. Loved the movie. Um, was an hour and a half long um, of showing another escape with Sarah being the one in prison and breaking Sarah out of prison. And as a result of that, um, Michael died, went out like a G because the time that we thought that Michael, um, you know, we thought he died, he died because of the tumor that he had, but it seemed like it was like, listen, I I'm going to die anyways. So I'm pretty sure it was not an easy decision for Michael to go out like that, you know, but he was going to die anyways. And I actually started to tear up a little bit there at the end of that movie because, you know, Michael was definitely hands down my favorite character in the show. Um, you know, I didn't, you know, I, I you know, I, I, I've, the, the emotion, the way how they did it in at the end of season four, um, it didn't hit me that, that much, you know what I'm saying? But you know, seeing him go out and seeing how he went out in the movie really, really spoke some volumes there. So um, definitely, definitely, um, I will have a review. I don't know what season five is going to be about. I don't know who it features. Um, I don't know what it's about. Nobody has said anything of what it's going to be about. So, um, so I have no clue <laughs> what season five is going to be ab about. Um, and what is going to be about i think it's only nine episodes so we're going to jump in um as much as you know of what it entails and yes the here is out again <laughs> the here is out again so we're gonna jump in into this reaction man thank you guys so much i do need to extend my thanks for the journey for all who stuck it out to the end i've noticed that the views have dropped of course because you know <laughs> people um i know that at this current moment as i'm watching this we just started season three on the youtube channel right just started season three on the channel um uh, as i'm recording this right now um and i noticed that the views have gone down because you know all the stuff that I've been saying about uh, about the show and stuff like that, people just don't they don't they 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 don't mess with the show like that. They're like, oh, it had two good seasons. Some people say it had one good season. So you know, I kind of expected the views to go down from where they normally was because we were averaging something around three hundred to four hundred views um, per upload. Um, but I noticed that the views have gone way down. But it is what it is, you know. Um, it's cool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're going to finish the show anyways. Anyways, let's jump into the reaction. Now we'll see you guys right after for the review. Still tight as scales on a snake. T-Bag is getting out of prison. Cesspool like you gets his walking papers, I'll never know. This cesspool has been a model citizen. Model citizen. 
What is it with you killers that put the satin on women's panties anyhow? Burroughs, how about you step out and pay us the hundred grand you owe us? Take that as a no. Lincoln Why Burroughs. Why do you owe people money? Says no. <laughs> Back to your roots, the way you've always been. A small time crook who can't pay his debts. We're gonna find you, you know. And we're gonna open you up. Lincoln Link. Oh, huffing and puffing. Don't you look at me like I'm trash. My house is in order. I'm clear with the government, the DOC, and my God. Seems fate has deigned to join us at the hip once again, despite our mutual contempt. Where'd you get this? Received it on release earlier this week. No return address. If you were playing me, I'll kill you. Take a look at that postmark on there. I may be a sophisticat, but not so sophisticated as to forge something like that. What angle could I possibly have in coming here and telling you that it looks like your brother might just be alive? Ain't no damn way. So Michael is alive? Ain't no way, bro. I mean, those words are addressed to me. Got to be. Get up. I'm trying to work with you here. Is there any possible way your brother could have survived? I can't. My brother's dead. And then who sent this? And why? The one made a copy, Burroughs. I knew you'd be the same obstinate son of a biatch you always been. But I'd hoped you'd seen the light, but you are what you is, and you is what you are. Yeah, I think everybody following him. I didn't think I was ever going to see you again. You didn't come to the wedding. I mean, I, f I figured I... I get it. He hates me for marrying someone other than his brother. But... I haven't been in a good place, sir. My brain, it's... It's, it's been a mess. That's why I didn't show up. And I didn't want my nephew to see me like that. You know, you want it to be true. Losing a brother. Massive hole that leaves in your life. Like the same mess of holes. So Sarah remarried. Amy, I can be pragmatic. Michael was sick. He was terminally sick. So if and he died. if he didn't die in a prison, yeah, you know I'm saying like there's so many factors here to consider. You know what I mean? It's a Photoshop link or something. You gotta consider the source. This came from Teabag. I want it to be true. Smart girl you're, Sarah. She's right. I'm just desperate to see your face. My life's been a mess ever since you left. Falling back into my old ways. Something you wouldn't tolerate. Oh, Gajia. It's a prison. But really and truly, would they have gotten a body to bury, though? Like, let's be honest. Like, I mean, theater bag. Unless this is... And you're Dr. Whitcomb. The man who invited me to this mystery meeting. At 9.30 at night when the rest of the building's closed. I know what you've done. I can only tell you my work. Targeted muscle re -innervation. Using the brain to manipulate prosthesis as it were a natural limb. But as with any cutting-edge work, funding is not easy to find in the form of a considerable anonymous grant on one condition. The first recipient of my procedure is you. Oh, is there somebody? I equip you with a fully articulate prosthetic, operationally indistinguishable from a real hand. Oh, your hand is 
shall no worries of your progeny. What's that? He's always quoting scripture and quotes and shit. It's not a body so i have some thoughts okay i have some thoughts um because i'm 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 getting a kind of a mixed vibe about how i feel about this um right the situation is this how would you guys have gotten a body of michael he literally died in prison right he died in prison you guys were, you guys broke, broke Sarah out of prison. He's the only one. Michael's body would have been fried to a crisp, probably. You know what I'm saying? Very dismangled and stuff like that from the amount of voltage he must have took from that. Um, How would he have survived that situation? There's a lot of explaining needed to be done. And I'm going to expect it because you can't just... Oh, I wanted to create a season five, so we had to bring these actors back. Um, Michael is <clears throat> should be severely injured from 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 that situation from breaking Sarah out of prison. So if he is still alive and it's not somebody, you know, playing around, and first of all, none of you guys looked in the casket at. I mean, they probably couldn't attend the funeral because they probably just, then again, they, you know, it's probably just, uh, but I I'm thinking about a lot of things because if the prison, if the state buried Michael, right. And then they, you know, it, it's a possibility that the state buried Michael. So there wasn't a funeral or anything because they're the ones that broke him out. So they are probably not going to go to the funeral. Right. So it makes sense. Also, why is nobody chasing Sarah anymore? Sarah broke out of prison. You know what I mean? Like, why is nobody chasing Sarah anymore? There's a lot of questions here. same red car from from the what is it the airport or wherever I'm not sure I'm gonna call the police hello I dug up Michael's grave he's not in it what Sarah, someone just tried to kill me. They've been watching. They've been watching right from Who tried to kill you? It started at the airport, I... What color was the pickup? Black. Why? Sarah. Jacob. Yeah? Behind one of the pictures on the brick wall, there's a hole and there's a gun in it. I need you to get it. What? Right now, right now, someone's coming for us. A gun? What do you mean, a gun? Mike! Why are they coming after them? I need you to send people right away. I don't have time. Please come. Sarah! Yo, my guy. He's gonna get killed, bro. Wow. There's no one else in the house. Get yeah, the she just heard a door close, my guy. <laughs> I don't think. Who's here, Mom? What do they want? Michael should. Um... Okay, listen to me. If 
Seriously. You should have went and got the gun yourself. That dude, I don't know what the hell. About to get poked in the eye. Why did she kill him? It's very strange. I guess she's... I don't know what she's there for, but she's there for something else. Jacob! Don't hurt her. You look at me, all right? Don't close your eyes and don't go to sleep. All right, I'm gonna need you to stay with me. I need an Why is it that Sarah is free and clear? What happened? She's an escaped convict. <laughs> she escaped from prison. What happened? You know what I'm saying? Like, how is she just out here getting married? Just, just you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, she she weren't they in um. Where were they at the end of season four again? Where were they? I done deleted. <laughs> Where were they again at the end of season four? Um, af after the, the, the time skip. Like, where were they? Unless, no, this have to be after the re reunion, right? The timeline is not adding up for me. How is he? The shot almost completely severed his femoral artery, so they're trying to stabilize him. And him? Seven. And lucky that the cops came that quickly because, bruh. What's going on? We've awoken something. Something people are trying to hide about Michael. Your brother's dead, thank you. Where is he going? Where's the body? Then why did he leave? If he's been out there for all of these years, yeah, what did he a lot of questions I have. You know I'm right. It wouldn't be like this if something wasn't happening. Let's go to Yemen and find out. To Yemen? I have a son, Lincoln. My husband's in the ER, right? Look, leaving them is exactly the wrong thing for me to do right now. Yeah, he's ready to see you. One second. I'll go to Yemen. You don't know a damn thing about Yemen. I'll find someone who does. I see guess. You, I don't know. Tea bag. Uh, at this point, we might as well just start trusting tea bag for some weird reason. That's why I'm here. If I needed to get to Yemen, what's something you could help me with? What old is he? Huh? Man, that's for heavy hitters, political prisoners. In Yemen, it doesn't come any worse. And do you know what it would take to stage a death? Not to mention keeping a man who's not dead under the radar for seven years. V from the prison in the mosque. No, you asked me, that photo's legit. Then that's the Bruh. building my brother's in. Easiest way to find out is to call the prison and ask. Master yeah, why would they tell you? Shukran. There's no Michael Schofield. Punch up an image from the internet, Michael Schofield. Send it to the prison, maybe. To so just show up on a whim. And yet, apparently, my brother did. You got a picture? Your brother's intake photo from the Fox River Penitentiary. Here's his DMV photo. And here's a photo from his old workplace website. It's not it's Michael. Not None of them are. It's someone's erasing his existence. Who does that? Who has that ability? I'm telling you, Michael's caught in the middle of something big. What if he's not caught in the middle? What are you saying? Michael has never been anyone's sucker. He's always been in control. Always. You're saying he faked his own death? I'm saying you need to look at all of the possibilities before you walk into a war zone. Oh, this is making some sense. But you also got to consider the fact type of person that Lincoln is. You know, he's very headstrong. Once he sets his mind on something. Has to surrender to fate. You know, especially when it comes on to Michael. <laughs> you do anything untoward to me while I'm under an You are the last man I'd run afoul of. Okay? Mm. Oh, fate, you mysterious. You don't want to be a. You don't want to be. Why are you doing this to me? Trust me. You don't want to be up <laughs> for this one because this, this, this is the real deal. I drive with you. Oh! Bruh. What the hell was that for? <laughs> so great. Don't be sneaking up on this. <laughs> Damn. What's going on? You tell you to talk me out of it? No. 
I'm coming with you. You're not coming. <laughs> Michael's my best friend. If he's alive, if he's in trouble, I want to help. Wow. What are you, a pimp? What? <laughs> no, no, no. no. Trump is a freelance cargo ship. We go to Hong Kong, Spain, Buenos Aires, basically wherever the boss tells us. Corrupt son of a bitch. Well, I suggest you get back on that tramp, because you're not coming. I'm telling you, I can help. Listen to me. This is the Middle East. Let's change. I'm an international hitter now. A raconteur. I don't think that means what you think it means. <laughs> Speak to me like I don't know French. I know French, and I'm brown. That's something. I'll fit in better over there than you will, Snowflake. But with me, we have people at the mosque that have worked over there. People with legal connections that can get us inside of that prison. Hold on. You're not saying he gets to go. He's not any brother than I am. Ah, but Santa Tikala Marabi. Huh? No? <laughs> I managed to pick up a little Arabic while I was serving in Iraq. You really got contacts? Contacts with contacts. <laughs> okay. You guys think this is all just one big manipulation for them to for them to get what I'm thinking is this. All right, I'm gonna say this. My theory is this Michael is not alive because we see we already see what is what somebody if somebody can basically erase you from history, you know what I'm saying? They have the power in this day and age where in computers and stuff like that, if you're really prolific at hacking and stuff like that it's not very hard to do what this guy is is doing so i think he's trying to manipulate them into doing something i don't think michael is alive i think maybe it was photoshop maybe they the obviously some somebody after them but maybe this is somebody that got screwed over because of what happened in the past or or something of that i don't know what it is but We'll see, I guess. Contact again. A woman named Sheba. A handler. She helps us track Americans that come in to fight the jihad fight. <laughs> Welcome to the Civil War. Me to collect you. Ah, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Uh, this way, gentlemen, follow me. Oh, no. It's the wrong person? I'm still sure you know, but you know. You didn't seem worried. <laughs> I scratch backs too, my friend. I bet you do. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. This this isn't the address. I get cigarettes. No, no, you don't. You, you take us straight to the address right now. I, I get cigarettes. Link, this is a setup. We gotta grab your bag, get out. This is not good. Oh. Ouch. Greetings from the U.S. prison system, bitches. <laughs> Find us. Contact at the airport so you get into the wrong taxi. You're lucky I found you. This is very radicalized neighborhood. Whoever set you up couldn't have set you up in a worse way. Ah. Uh, you know what thing I like about Prison Break, man? Prison Break is always bringing the baddies, though. You can't even lie, bro. You can't even lie, bro. Like, the prison break always bringing the brat the baddies, man. We got a lot of baddies for season five. All right. All right. Throw your phones out the window. I know her, man. Watch a couple of TV series with her. I don't know what her name is, but <laughs> at least I don't remember what her name is, but. Sheba, this is Lincoln. Lincoln. Sheba. T-Bag got a brand new hand. They done brought you to Westworld, T-Bag. You're feeling unease, do you? I'd venture that's what's always been in you since birth. Your soul. I just put the hardware into you. You're the thing that runs it. Who's behind Nobody. This? Nobody's behind this. Ugh. What does that mean? I got a single word. 
That's it. Just my benefactors ID themselves by a single word. The company? Outis? Who are these people? That's who your benefactor is, Mr. Bagwell. Nobody. Nobody. Has connections in Ugajia prison. He says he can arrange a visit. That mean Michael's in there? There's apparently an American in there matching your brother's description. There's just one thing. Arranging such a visit is hard. Very difficult. Comes at a price. Money's not a problem. Not money. Your passport. U.S. passport is like gold here. A few changes and it can be a ticket to freedom. Don't do it, Link. <clears throat> That's... I know it is not ideal, but... Like a, I, how am I going to get back home? <laughs> you cannot get out of the country without a passport. Exactly. It's like, how am I going to get back home, my guy? I told myself I'd never step foot in another prison. As long as you walk out of it. Good. Oh. There. <clears throat> Can you love us? Yes. Can you love us? Is he here? Hana, I can't see him. I'm not going to see him. I'm not going to see him. Why'd you say that name? This is my brother's jacket. Thought we were on the right side of God on this. Shiva, no, hey, hey, Shiva. The heck? Kanyo Aldis is a big time terrorist. They got him in here for murder. He's been working with ISIL, trying to take down the government. Come on, see. You know that's not Michael. It can't, can't be, bro. He's alive. Ain't no damn way, bro. Just as Storms. Explanations. Can't they? Bruh. Or something changed. They're saying he's a terrorist. A setup. Michael. And he's got tattoos. New tattoos. My name isn't Michael. And I don't know who you are. I sound just like him. You speak English. Probably doesn't want to get them involved. Probably. I don't know. Bro, Michael, what the? Talk to Michael. Michael. Michael, what are you doing, damn it? You're doing something. What? <laughs> I'm here like, what? I'm here like, what's the possibility of Michael being, I, you even hear me said it, I think Michael is not, but they like manipulated him, manipulating them into doing something. Michael doesn't want to get them involved, but why? Why is he over here being a terrorist? Why? What happened? Seven years. Bruh. What, what, what must I think about this? What must I think about this? You know what, guys? You know what, guys? I'm excited. And I'm going to tell you guys why I'm excited. Because this show is yet to let me down. And I'm not a huge fan of, you know, people being dead, coming back alive. Not a huge fan of it in series. But I'm going to tell you why it works for Prison Break. Right? I'm going to tell you why it works for Prison Break. Listen, everybody thought the dad was, was dead. He wasn't dead. We saw him. Thought the mom was dead. Mom came back. She never did. But she's dead now for real. Um, also, um, Michael was dead. Now he's back alive. That wasn't real. But they've always had a very good explanation for why these people are not dead. So that's the reason why, in my opinion... It works here in the TV show. And I'm going to tell you because the writing is very good. So I'm going to tell you guys why I mess with this so um, so heavy and why I'm excited about it. Because, you know, I've witnessed this in, you know, a few TV shows where they bring back 
people who you might think is dead or whatever the situation is or we you know they may have staged the scene maybe we saw the grave maybe the people even mourn them and stuff like that and they come back in later seasons right um i mean we did we thought that kellerman was dead as well he came back you know what i'm saying even though they didn't quite explain how he didn't die but of course knowing who the dad was working with um you know what i'm saying we kind of just assume i mean they did fire in the damn van <laughs> you know what i'm saying i just recently rewatched that episode and i was editing it um for the youtube channel and you know saw the dudes fire in the van i was like how did how, how this but well, anyways you know they didn't exactly show because i mean you know they can use kind of like that to to their advantage when it comes on to you know um tv shows on tv network because they can't really show they can show certain things but they can't really push the boundaries too much because these shows are not rated like tv ma or anything like that they, they're not rated for mature audience they're rated for like you know tv 14 or you know or whatever um so so they gotta kind of like stay within that boundary you know what i'm saying uh so in any case kellerman you know not dying was you know it, it was okay it was a welcome surprise to say the least and i'm I, i'm not mad about it um in this situation when it comes down to to michael coming back and not being dead right um this is seven years later right what i what i was saying during the episode i said they, they better have a damn good reason and michael needs to be either severely injured or something some they, they need to like in the next episode they gotta explain they can't just if they leave it if they leave it and don't explain how michael opened that door for sarah and did not die or have some severe burns on his body or something maybe the shock maybe he maybe he is actually you know what i'm saying not remembering anything because of that jolt you know what i'm saying maybe it damaged his brain maybe that's the reason why he doesn't remember them don't know who they are you know what i'm saying in my thinking i'm thinking he just doesn't want to get them involved so he's pretending like he didn't know he doesn't know them or maybe he does have amnesia about the entire situation because of that jolt of electricity that he took it has to be something like something along the lines of that you know what i'm saying but as i said the writers have not let me down yet so i'm still trusting them even though this is a very short season um you know what i'm saying i'm still looking forward to seeing what they're going to how they're going to explain this and what's going to happen if he's actually real you know what i'm saying if if this is actually real and not a twin <laughs> you know what i'm saying that just happens to be there i hope it's not some stupid explanation like he's he just looks like michael or whatever the situation because that's clearly michael you know what i'm saying and you know link said you know what i'm saying oh new tattoos and he's like what do you mean new <laughs> you know what i'm saying like he's had these forever so this is a um it's a welcome surprise at least for me in my opinion it is a welcome surprise i like the fact that you know what i'm saying it's a theme in the show for them to bring back people who we think is dead so it's not like outside of the scope of what they've been doing you know what i mean um people may have i, I can understand if some people don't like this aspect of the show you get what i'm saying or they're just doing this for fan service or whatever the situation is i could totally understand that i don't mind it i don't mind it if you're gonna make a season or something entertaining i thought they were going to do season five without michael at all and this was going to be probably something about somebody else um you know what i'm saying i wonder if we're going to see alex i don't know maybe you know what i'm saying we've already seen sucre maybe he just came back for the one episode or whatever um of course it's always good to see the the, the team back together the original team of course I am watching Teabag with 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 very 
very careful eyes. You know what I'm saying? Very careful eyes because he's a scoundrel. Hopefully he's changed a little bit from being in prison for so long. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying? I'm always here for a redemption story. You know what I'm saying? I don't condemn people to death. You know what I'm saying? I think that if you, you know, if you murder someone, you still can be redeemed. Um, that's just my belief. It doesn't have to be yours. That's just me. I believe that everybody, no matter what you did, you deserve a second chance. You deserve forgiveness um, for what you did. Don't mind. Don't, don't get me wrong. You kill somebody, you deserve to rot in prison. You get what I'm saying? You deserve to rot in prison. But at the very same time, do that. Does that person deserve forgiveness? Yes. Do they deserve a second chance? Maybe not a life outside of prison, but they still deserve a second chance. You get what I'm saying? Because um, in this life, you know what I'm saying? In this life that we live, you get one you get one life to live, but you get many chances to live it. And a lot of times, you know, you know, based on what we do in life, we got to accept those consequences as well. But that doesn't mean that you don't deserve to be forgiven. It doesn't mean that you don't deserve a second chance at it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, mind you, it, you know, I, I totally understand on the other side of things as well. If you feel like that person doesn't deserve forgiveness and stuff like that, um, I can completely understand why a person would feel that way about somebody who murders someone. So that's just my stance. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's just my stance. Um, so I, you know, I'm just I, to the amount of people that he's killed. You know what I'm saying? He should be serving 20 life sentences consecutively. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? He, t -Bag deserves to die in prison for what he did. You know what I'm saying? For what he uh, he has done and the type of person that he is, he deserves to be near because he doesn't, he doesn't really show remorse for any of it. You know what I'm saying? He's a psychopath. Let's, let's just call it what it is. He's a psychopath, sociopath, whatever you want to call it. He's all of those things all wrapped into one person. So got to keep an eye on him. Hopefully he doesn't turn back to his treacherous ways. <laughs> right. So we're keeping an eye on him, of course. So it's cool to see. Hopefully we get to see um, Mahone coming back. Of course, um, everybody has gotten older. So that was pretty cool as well um, to see everybody, you know, you know, looking older, looking more gruffy. Um, you know what I'm saying? Sarah um look she looking like the walking dead lori now you know what i'm saying like she looking like the walking dead lori not not much there to um you know age doesn't really fit sarah to be honest she doesn't get she's not one of them um older beauties you know what i'm saying like you know what i'm saying she doesn't have that i don't want to say sex appeal <laughs> or maybe i should say sex appeal for you know what i mean like she doesn't really have that <laughs> you know what i'm saying with this um with this season here you know what i mean she still still look good you know what i'm saying but you know what i'm saying the simpness in me as is not jumping out <laughs> just say that but anyways i'm moving on to the next episode man gotta keep watching gotta keep watching incredible start Incredible Start Season 5, I did not expect this. If you had asked me, what do I expect from Season 5? What is going to happen? This was not it. <laughs> this was not going to be it at all. You know what I'm saying? So it is a welcome surprise, not less. So, yeah, man. Appreciate your time. Thanks for spending some time with me here today. Leave a like, leave a comment. Catch you guys for the next one, man. Peace.